Uh, now let's see some of the conditional statements uh, which is used in uh, the script engine. It's pretty like uh, the C language, uh, everything. Uh, uh, Hyper-DVG just supports basic conditional statements like if, else if, or else. And uh, this is some examples. For example, if we want to check that if the RX register is equal to 55 or equal to 0x55 in hexadecimal format, then we print that the RX is equal to 0x55. This is uh, basically used for checking for some conditions uh, in uh, whenever, an script, uh, whenever an event is triggered, then we can simply check for the conditions to see that if the trigger event is uh, from or is uh, basically interesting for us or not. If it's not interesting, then we can simply continue the debugging. But if it's interesting uh, and needs an uh, needs an investigation, then we can use this conditional statement. Another thing is that uh, you can also use the expressions in the if statements or the, in the conditional statements. Like for example, in the second example, I made a, a very simple uh, script that tries to dereference the value or just uh, add 0x10 to the rx and then dereference it and we will check it whether it's equal to this value or not and if uh, it was uh, equal to this value then we have a second check here uh, and we can use the uh, these operators here to check with different conditions. Another thing is that we can use uh, the functions uh, just like C programming languages. I will explain about the check address function later, but you can also use the check, uh, use the functions and the result of the functions in the conditional state. Here's another condition if we want to use if and else if and uh, else command uh, uh, statements. Uh, just keep in mind that uh, there is a no else if else space if in the script engine of hyper but it's just like e l s i f 